In this video, we'll write the atomic orbital diagram for scandium, that's SC. And before we do the atomic orbital diagram, we need to write the electron configuration for scandium. So scandium has 21 protons, that's the atomic number here. That also equals the number of electrons in a neutral atom, and all the atoms on the periodic table are neutral. So scandium, that's right here, and we'll follow the pattern here on the periodic table to write the electron configuration until we use all 21 of those electrons. So we start off in the first energy level. We have 1s1, 1s2, and now that's full. So we go to the second energy level, 2s1, 2s2, over to p, 2p1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. p can hold up to 6, so 2p6, 3s2, then 3p6. To the fourth energy level, 4s1, 4s2, and we get to scandium, which is right there. It's 3d1, so we have our scandium which is 3d1, and if you count up all the electrons here on the top, it's going to equal 21. So we can use this now to write the atomic orbital diagram for scandium. So the electron configuration for scandium and then the atomic orbital diagram, we're just trying to show where the electrons are around the nucleus of the scandium atom. You can think of the nucleus as being here, and these energy levels are around it, like shells. So we start off 1s2, we put both of those in opposite directions in the 1s, 2s2, 2p6, we spread them out before we pair them up. Then we have 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and then we have that 3d1, which we'll put right here. And this is the atomic orbital diagram for scandium. Again, all we're trying to do is represent where those electrons are around the nucleus of the scandium atom. This is Dr. B with the atomic orbital diagram for scandium. Thanks for watching.